Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bone Kingdom from the GameCube, and it's time. <laughs> this this route that I've been doing things with for the past few days, uh, it's time. It's time that I uh, I uh, get some progress in this game. It's been too long. So I will be trying to make that progress. Let's see how that turns out. Now hopefully I don't forget every little thing. that I want to do. There are certainly several little things that can uh, trip me up. My last uh, run uh, yesterday was evidence of that. So, time to get this going. Three, two, one. Make it happen! Now to, now to uh, mash through two minutes of unskippable text. <laughs> So, uh, if you uh, did not tune in yesterday to uh, see what else I've done with this game, I uh, have started uh, exploring using the Konami code for this this story mode. And uh, you use the Konami code in this game by... Uh, putting in the buttons in the middle of gameplay in the, in just an open area of land that's not uh, highlighting anything you just you just press up up down down left right left right b a and you get uh, a voice acknowledging your efforts with a yu-gi-oh and you get uh, 573 gold. Considering that uh, most of the equipment that's going to get bought in the, this speedrun is 600 gold each. That 573 you can put in multiple times and it will go a pretty long way. So I will uh, try to make that equipment go as long aw away as I possibly can. Specifically, equipment that uh, boost that boosts uh, your monster's attack. <laughs> it was, uh, the attack boosts. The attack boosts get a little crazy. I think in a couple missions I'll be able to. Uh, Explain that first. I want to set up Yugi's team for this first mission. I'm gonna start out simple enough. Just gonna go to the enemy base, the main enemy base, take down the main enemy commander. There will be some twisted turns along the way. But that will be the general flow. Yugi's going to march over to the enemy base and beat the boss and have a hunky dory day. Now I'm sending another team up to this city because that will draw out the. Uh, 
officer that is uh, holed up in this castle with the boss. Put in the code. Just to uh, show that it's working. Again, each one gets five hundred, gives you five hundred seventy-three gold, and that gold will get very useful. I'll be doing a lot more of that in the next mission. All right, Etos, what have you got for me? I mostly want to take out uh, the uh, monsters with the most action points, the ones who take the most turns. I'm so weak at this early going that I'm probably not going to uh, defeat everyone before they take all their turns. But uh, I can pick off the. Uh, Weaker ones to uh, save on uh, attack animations. So that was nice to be able to save a few turns. You're you're waiting? Okay, you may not get another turn. It is nice that you can just pass your turn like that. And it makes for a little more strategy than the normal. Yeah, so many of his monsters didn't uh, attack in that battle. That was pretty good. That was a good first battle. This almost always takes two battles. And I used to be very concerned about uh, not having enough turns to uh, win this in uh, two turns, but uh, this game did get uh, this this category did get new runs over the past year, and uh, comes with a more aggressive early game. I'm not sure that critical hit did anything. There we go. Huh. That is also pretty crazy. Apparently my uh, splits didn't save from uh, yesterday. Yesterday had a, a pretty insane... first uh, mission, and uh, that one was even faster. <laughs> so that's pretty crazy. Okay. So now, we're going to equip you with an item and then replace you. You get Horn Imp, you get Black Lay of Fire Dragon, you get Zombie Warrior. So Yugi's team is going to play a role in uh, this mission, but uh, Fizdus is going to be the star. She's going to be putting in the most work. So uh, I'm going to have her sent out for Yugi. Come on. This D-pad. I've, uh... Definitely... Had sensitivities 
towards uh, D-pads. So I know uh, this this GameCube D-pad uh, is exactly the same as uh, the Game Boy Advance D-pad and my fat thumbs just do not like it. But, uh, that is what, uh, this code demands if I'm going to make the best use of it. So, uh, this is admittedly an optional battle, but, uh, this option is going to, uh, make up for it in spades. Through this shopping trip I'm gonna make, I'm going to uh, take. Wow. Um. Sure. Sure. I'll fight through a guard. It's not often that I see the entire enemy team on, on the defense. I should still have enough attacks to uh, win, though. I may need a Black Lane Fire Dragon attack to uh, ensure this kill. Well, oh, this might this this might be damage range. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And if I get lucky, this stuffed animal will go down too. The only thing I have to worry about now, uh, in terms of. Uh, Wasted time is is a miss. Okay. That's no longer a problem. Good, good. But yeah, after I take this base, I'm gonna be take. I'm gonna be uh, building. Building a shop, essentially. And I'm going to build the ability to uh, buy uh, a bunch of good items. Okay. I'll take that crit. Critical hit will do roughly twice the damage of a normal attack. I will absolutely take those. You're guarding. Yeah, I don't have time to uh, sit and wait for your guard to wear off. This is this is probably gonna be damage range. There we go. There we go. That was smooth. All right, I've got a bunch of things to buy. There's no time to waste. Whoops. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now to get business over here. Business is going to be the one to finish this off. Because her team would actually be equipped to take out this fight in the two battles. Yugi would have a really hard time. So 
uh, considering I can't wipe out anyone in three rounds, I might as well just uh, take out the foes who can take the most turns. Oh, that is rude. That is rude. Celtic Guardian's getting ganged up on. I don't appreciate that. Nice damage range, bruh. Oh boy. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> uh, losing two turns from my uh, strongest monster uh, definitely stings. It's not like Yugi was going to uh, finish the job anyway. But I'll have a uh, Yugi move in uh, just in case. Just in case Fizzus is not able to. Uh, get the kill. There should be enough scraps for uh, you to take down. That'd be very unfortunate after the way that first mission went. Also after the way that battle at uh, Fothwell I think it's called. Or Fotu? I don't. I don't remember. Both. Well, I, I. I can never remember exactly. But uh, after that battle, seemed to go incredibly well. Oh, it's gonna be close. Wow! These critical hits, dude! These enemies <laughs> and their critical hits! That is so strong! That is definitely some strong resistance that this game is giving right now. That first mission must have been uh, embarrassing. Or, jeez. I don't normally try to pack a monster reborn. Because uh, it does impact to an extent how uh, the enemies attack. You're guarding. Can I, I can break through that for a little damage. Oh, their critical hit gets through. Okay. Okay, this is not this is not as bad. This is not as bad as I was expecting. All right. Tristan is here. Thank you for joining us. Respect. And I will get to make use of uh, Tristan's moves. Tristan's uh, monsters, I should say. So let me... Let these... To replace you, the gazelle, mm, again the menuing. Questionable. So I want to give you swordsman, I guess. I'm going to uh, equip everybody with uh, 
all of the best things my money has been able to buy. I need to give you more nymph. Uh, I'll have to sit with this and uh, make sure uh, I can un understand what's the the best way to uh, what's the best way to uh, buy these things. I thought I I thought I understood. I do not. All right, so uh, now that I have a team that is decked to the nines with uh, items, I should probably have this just follow. Like just in just in case uh, these uh, two battles are not worth it. Are, are, are not are able to, uh, can't uh, take these, uh, two enemies in a, in a single battle, so, uh, <clears throat> the cannon way through, uh, this level would be after all of these teams gather into this base, that, uh, you wait until 9 o'clock on, uh, the timer, and, uh, these bases would get to uh, th this base would get set on fire heavily damaging every team in this fort and if you take the base to the south then uh, the officer in here would get drawn out and you'd be left alone with the boss excuse me Okay, this... Hmm. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with the code. Alright, Celtic Guardian, give me a good damage range. That is terrible damage range. <laughs> oh my goodness. I swear, these foes uh, can inflict anywhere between, like, th these monsters can inflict, like, like, as little as 80% of their, uh, of, uh, of uh, the damage they can possibly inflict. Maybe it's 75. It's a pitiful amount. Uh, I don't think I can inflict 400 damage with that. The Beaver Warrior can. <laughs> Alright, I barely have enough attacks to pull this off. I don't think there's an absurdly low damage roll that allows Count the Guardian to not get this kill. Oh, now you inflict 485. Where was that the first time? <laughs> so, uh, Yugi's gonna be able to uh, take these two teams out by himself. But, uh... Almost certainly going to uh, need healing in order to uh, make sure I survive this second battle. This second battle gets... Uh, a little messed up. Okay, so they've taken all their turns. So I should be able to take out this Lava Battle Guard without issue. Turn order is not that messed up, but, uh... 
turn order does tend to get randomized. Within the... Within each round of combat, as it were. Hey! Hey, green mixtape, how's it going? I've been, I've been trying to uh, <laughs> make some progress in this for a while, but uh, I've been, I keep running into little uh, troubles of my own doing. Alright. Like there we go. There we go, now things are coming together. all I need. That should be all I need to do. So let me start by building an anti-ground cannon. Send Yugi through. I'll send Simon through. This, this is in the front. So that's good. Uh, Probably want to put in the code a few more times. This is my uh, solution to the money problems that uh, this route is now presenting. Because uh, I like how aggressive Michael Geo's run is at the beginning, but uh, I really, really like having access to Karibo at the end. And uh, the only way I could uh, think of to make use of uh, both of those aspects of our routes be to uh, find a somewhat outside source for more money, so uh, I went ahead and resorted to the Konami code. I honestly can't uh, think of uh, how much that actually changes. I had to, I had to think uh, long and hard before uh, resorting to it because uh, I know at least one previous runner, uh, nice, and made it clear that uh, they wanted runs uh, without this code, with this code separated from uh, the ones without. Quite frankly, I can't see enough of a difference in the runs to uh, justify that. I mean, when the, so many other Yu-Gi-Oh games allow passwords to to directly get cards and encourage it, I don't know. I, I can't feel any guilt from this. So I get to use so many more monsters. I'm using Kani Kabuto and Swordsman from a Foreign Land. Oh, I should probably focus on you, huh? Yeah, I want to avoid the camera pan, but it's super important. I wanted to uh, make this battle a lot shorter. So I put in the ground cannon. Well, that's that's very unfortunate that uh, any any of the enemies even get a turn. So it's almost like I'm fully equipping three teams with overpowered items instead of uh, using two slightly overpowered teams just at the end. 
So I, I like where this route's going. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, uh, the strongest monsters I can equip, all uh, beast and uh, warrior monsters, they are not, uh, they are not super fast. So, uh, So, uh, Yugi's gonna have a tough time, uh, slogging through this. I think Gazelle's the one that moves the fastest. He's, he's the one with Field Adept, after all. I couldn't find anyone faster, and quite frankly, I did need someone to, uh, draw out the cannon fire, otherwise I was gonna slow down and stop to heal. Which, this doesn't look to be much slower. And as well equipped as this team is, uh, Capulia should be taken down in relatively short order. There's a small chance I'll need a second battle. But I'm not expecting it. Yeah, my splits didn't save from yesterday, so, uh... This should be a kind of massive gold split. You're guarding, you're attacking... Yeah, Gazelle moving first, uh, basically suggested to me that uh, going after Balox would be the better option. Wow! <laughs> Beaver Warrior's damage roll is a bit low. I'm gonna go ahead and take you out so uh, Celtic Guardian can possibly live. Goodness gracious! <laughs> Goodness gracious, uh, Celtic Guardian took a beating there. Every... Oh, come on! I was going to improve my gold split. In fact, I'm going to go back to... I'm going to go back to uh, yesterday's footage and actually put in the gold splits. For whatever, for whatever reason, they didn't save. And I would like some better reflection of uh, where the ceiling is on this run. That is so unfortunate. <laughs> Uh Well, this this is all making up for the first mission, I guess. So, uh, I should not be surprised. I should have been, like, 30 seconds faster. Wherever the time was to take that extra battle. Like a boss. That's fine. It's fine. I'll make up a little bit of time here, too. So, Bakura, we'll get, take you off. Replace you with someone who can actually move. So that'll be nice. This is this is one of the bigger reasons why uh, 
I gave Hornimp back to uh, another team. I want another team to uh, have Hornimp because uh, I just need I just need a foot soldier who uh, will make a trek to uh, these bases and uh, make these uh, shopping trips. Code. This code does not want to get used. I probably have enough money at this point, but uh, can't be too careful. So we got a big shopping list here. Collector whip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That should be all I need for uh, most of the rest of the game. There is one more. There is one more uh, transaction that needs to be made later. So that I can actually make use of Karibo. Also, as a reminder, Fiend Kraken has a blue medicine, so I will be trying to uh, dodge that healing as well as I can. I'm really hoping Fiend Kraken will move, so that way I can just uh, take it out in confidence. That's a critical hit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That help. That helps a bit. Can't say that critical hit doesn't help. You're waiting. All right. I would imagine you get placed at the end of the line, or not. I don't understand turn order. I don't know how it gets. I don't know how it gets determined because it just feels random. Four to break through the guard. I can. That critical hit from uh, that critical hit on Seeking Dragon was very valuable. Oh, the, the guard already wore off. Good. 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 Wow. This is this is even faster than I remember it. Yeah, I think giving Ensatsu those extra legendary swords was very helpful. Now it's just a matter of uh, Karibo going to keep it up. Alright, let me give you bows and arrows so that way your attacks in this next battle will not miss. I think it's going to be faster for me to uh, do some sort of manual navigation through this area. Compared to what I normally do. I've got all the time in the world to uh, send Simon on his way to uh, the place that has... Uh, multiply in the shop. I'll start him on the way. I'm trying to thread I'm threading the needle between a summon skull in this castle and uh, an illusory gentleman encounter somewhere in here. It's it's a kind of precise needle. I usually just try to line up with this this edge of uh, 
the mountain terrain. And there are usually no problems. I do have to worry about this Castle of Dark Illusions team possibly hitting the edge of uh, Ensatsu area, but okay, that's not going to be a problem. I should definitely have uh, more than enough money. Build the trade union. Multiply, multiply, multiply. That is all I need. Oh! And I actually hit that base early enough so that way they don't take... I hit that early enough so that they don't take this base too, uh, wasting... Wasting uh, animation time. That's pretty pretty neat. All right, blue medicine, red medicine, monster reborn. I absolutely hate this fight, but uh, at some point I've got to uh, get aggressive. Nice miss. Okay. Okay, so the uh, potion healers are not going to heal. So I should be free to take out Reaper of the Cards. Or the damage can be so low that it wasn't worth it. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just trying to avoid heals at this point. I'm going to wait. I should be able to take out King of Yami Makai with the last two actions here. There we go. Then, uh... Alright. Oh, you're guarding. Uh... I can break through the guard. Uh, I'll wait. You're waiting. Okay. Alright, I I'm gonna take a chance on this. Hope that Insatsu moves next. Yes. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I was actually not going to have enough attacks if the heal got triggered. So I had to be very, very careful. For whatever reason, this game randomizes the turn order of every monster in battle. And I just have to pay close attention to uh, to uh, who has taken their turns. Hey, Freeland, how's it going? Okay, okay. Okay. Time to get to work with Kuribo. I don't, I don't remember the, the menus here at all. Ugh, I got way too much crap. Alright, another mission where uh, I've got cannon fodder to deal with. Park someone there. You go there, and you go there. So, uh, parking this unit here will uh, keep this Millennium Golem from uh, entering this castle and immediately exiting to my base. So, I'll have to say, is Insatsu gonna hit the Millennium Golem? No, it's not that close. All right. Again, you will take the hit. Move 
out of the way. Or and Satsu. Now to pay attention to uh, when this Axe Raider moves. This Axe Raider has a red medicine. Uh, I'm gonna go for this. Nope. <laughs> No, that was that was not smart. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I need extra to not move again. Oh. Might be helpful in, in general just to uh, put that in a put that in a zip zip folder and uh, actually upload it to uh, the leaderboard. It's a lot. I'm sure a lot of people would uh, be more interested in uh, New Game Plus if uh, they had access to that. I know, I know, I was kind of dreading uh, grinding my New Game Plus file myself. So, uh, that would end up being quite helpful. Yeah, that's, that's the problem, though. That, all the known methods I uh, know to do that uh, involve uh, a home, home brewing your uh, Wii, Wii console. And uh, copying those those saves to uh, an SD card. Oh, maybe maybe an action replay device can do something similar. I don't remember exactly. I'm, sh I'm sure there are multiple ways to do it. All right. It's, it's a shame that uh, I'm not going to uh, this SGDQ or uh, could uh, arrange something there. Beautiful. All right. So yeah, this this route's just gonna be uh, about. Uh, how much time I uh, lose in the rest of the run. Hmm. Okay, there's a process to this. I'm going to pay very close attention to the clock to uh, look for my cue of when to move Taya. This is the only way I've found to uh, actually get her uh, free. Because, yeah, these Burfamet teams are uh, going to slow each other down. So I am very thankful for that. All right. I'm very thankful that uh, this Dark Elf is slow. <laughs> Alright, Taya is free, so I don't have to worry about that mission. Nothing to buy there. Should be nothing else to buy for uh, the rest of the game. Maybe cowards, but uh, we are alive cowards. All right, 
replace you with Black Man Fire Dragon, just to replace you with something. Now get you equipped. Whoops, not you equipped. So I'll use Taya's team, but uh, I'm going to use it with my... Because, uh, my is actually required in a later mission. So, uh, the team should be set now. line up how I want to move this. I want to try to uh, make as straight a line as I can towards the enemy base, but... There is a... Uh, a Harpy's Pet Dragon team in the way. Is it still in the way? Yeesh! I haven't cut that one that close in a while. Alright. So this is the first... Uh, This is uh, the first showcase for Karibo. Well, funny you should mention that. Uh, I find I found myself running into money problems with uh, trying to combine uh, Michael's early game with with my late game and. Uh, I too am resorting to the Konami code. Really not really not a fan, but there just is not enough money in the I mean there is enough money in the bases that t you take, but uh, it's very time consuming to do so. Figured I'd rather not uh, go through that time loss just for uh, some sort of arbitrary morality concern. Not when the, not when so many Yu-Gi-Oh games already encourage the use of passwords to get cards. So I don't, uh, I don't think too much about it. Okay, okay. Bit of an unfortunate death with Karibo losing that time. Oh, I think I'm just gonna have to uh, send my straight through and uh, manually. Navigator. So you can go to the front. Build a barricade. I guess I'll build a healer. Even though I probably don't need it. Just trying to get her... Trying to get my wide enough of this... Uh, Labyrinth tank in the back. It's not gonna lie, kind of stressful. I think after this battle, I should be able to send her straight through.
One day I'll, I'll be able to see for myself. I mean, my my splits do uh, suggest to me that uh, this could go under uh, two hours. Oh, I don't actually know how uh, realistic that is. So yeah, Karibo did not get the extra levels, so... Uh, that untimely death cost uh, Karibo the ability to multiply twice. That's gonna make this interesting. Karibo's not gonna be able to... Well, Karibo should multiply twice after this battle. Where was that critical hit in the beginning? <laughs> oh well. That should be safe. Yeah, Labyrinth Tank's sphere's not that big, okay. Area of influence is not that big, so. Do I need to run away from this battle? Uh, do, well, well, I only need to run away once, is the question. I don't know if I've navigated my as uh, precisely as uh, I could have. Yeah, Karibo not being able to multiply twice kind of sucks, actually. Is Mai gonna get there? She got there, alright. I'll have to look at how... Uh... How my uh, run's counterattack went. Besides uh, Karibo not being able to multiply twice, I'm not sure uh, okay, okay. how I lost that much time. That was that was my problem with Michael's route. Because I was just losing too many chunks of time at the end. I was uh, tired of uh, losing that time. Alright, time to save Taya. So you to the front. I guess I'll build a barricade. Just to make it easier for her to uh, escape, I think. to say sending you out to the side and then you know it should be enough to always dodge that okay hey Lincoln how's it going sardines oh you get a turn damn hey Mel how's it going Oh, well, uh, this is this is already better than yesterday. <laughs> I know that much. Yesterday uh, did not have uh, a lot of uh, good things happening. Runs were getting lost to uh, ridiculous things. Just, uh... Just uh, idiot tendencies on my part, uh, leading to uh, unfortunate things. 
Also, the level 99 Dark Magician. is uh, more of a trouble than uh, the world record holder lets on. Because turn order is all over the place. You are practically required to uh, have Harpy Lady move before uh, Dark Magician just to uh, survive it. So, uh, this time, uh, considering how far ahead I am already, I'm just going to take the safety and uh, send my team out in front of it. I just cannot, I cannot afford to uh, lose another run to that mission. That mission is just a bit too much. Alright, Taya is back. I really want to do this. I think I'm just going to use a team command to uh, move Simon to where I want here. Or not. Oh, you're. Oh, you blocked me. Okay. How did you block me? Tried to escape. I normally, I normally just send uh, I normally just send uh, Simon out to the main base, and he triggers the cannon. And triggers the uh, Kaiba cutscene. sure why uh, okay okay <laughs> I'm really not understanding how that happened honestly I should have been able to uh, get Simon out before uh, the enemy team got that close. I really don't understand how that was queued up. I don't know how that was stuck in the queue. It's weird. got uh, more with this route that uh, needs to be explored. Alright. Just saving on turns here. 
Fever Warrior. Easy enough to take out. Kanan is guarding, so... What more convenient thing for me to do than the... Go after Zanki. Nice crit. Let's see, is this gonna be a range of dancing? No. It is, though. It is, though. I don't have to worry about... It was, so I won't have to worry about that. Okay, not not bad, all things considered. I expect to be losing a minimal... ...amount of time here. You're moving out too! What the hell? I just gotta get rid of you. Because you're just gonna keep assaulting base. It won't be worth running away. What the hell? I have no idea how Simon could not actually move. I don't use Mako, it takes too too long to menu to Mako for that. Like Simon like Simon's just right there. Just just uh, one input. Simon's usually one that takes that hit and then blocks the uh, enemy teams. Done using a bait. I could, okay, I could give, uh, I could give, uh, Hornet back to business before, uh, Crucial battle. In order to, uh, well, you know, Hornimp's not the problem. Or, more accurately, Hornimp was the problem. He couldn't move. Hmm. I still don't get it. I really don't want, I really don't want Panther Warrior taking turns. Yeah, whale on Karibo all you want. Doesn't matter anymore.
Huh. That's something. That's something I'm gonna have to, uh... Think a bit more about. Okay, okay. It's one of the things in the this route that I have not uh, sufficiently considered. In fact, I didn't even, I didn't even, I, that never even crossed my mind that. Uh, well, Fizz is usually the one with Horn Imp in my old route. Huh. I don't get it. Alright, I just need to... Uh... Maneuver my around... This base. I want I want Yugi to block the exit. All right, exit successfully blocked. That's the main. That's the main point of this this mission, just to keep these two uh, trapped in here. Just just by having, just by having one team in here in the, this area as uh, they try to exit. That's all that needs to be concerned about here. And uh, yeah, my. Mai has to be the one to beat Joey in this mission, otherwise uh, you get a game over. So Mai needs uh, some sort of team. And uh, Yugi's team is not, not that much stronger than this, so you don't save enough time. With Yugi's team to justify uh, switching to switching uh, all of his monsters to her and then switching them back, because uh, this team is still going to be needed to uh, speed up some later missions. I forget is Tyrant still guarding? Yeah, last last time I timed it, the amount of time I was able to save with Yugi's team compared to uh, using this team was exactly the amount of time it took to uh, menu and switch the teams once. So not not only would you really not see any immediate benefit, you then have to uh, switch back to uh, ideally get the strongest team team you can for the rest of the game. And yeah, it didn't it didn't it didn't really save time. I, I, I look at all these all these splits in these best times and I wonder in, in these best times if uh, there were uh, I wonder how many of them are uh, riddled with uh, timely critical hits that actually saved crap ton of time. Beautiful.
be taking out or Simon? Who's faster? Actually, I think they're in the same speed class. So, I want to redirect these enemies, but, uh... I don't want these foes to have the time to, uh, take the base that I steal, either. Okay, that one works out. <laughs> I don't I don't remember that one working out that well. I think that only worked because I sent mine first. It's, my notes are not exactly clear on the how to do that. Then again, my notes aren't 100% clear on the how to uh, most efficiently equip everyone with with all of the uh, new equips that I uh, get access to. And for whatever reason, with Michael's route, even with with uh, switching to Panther Warrior before this mission, sometimes I would. Uh, be missing one attack. I'd be one attack short of uh, winning this in a single battle. Something that uh, I don't think my route ever had a problem with. Disabling. And you get multiplying. Really not getting the critical hits from Karibo that, uh... Not only that I like, that, uh, I'm kind of used to. Oh, that- you might have been able to kill... Yeah, you might have been able to kill Labyrinth Tank. Oh well, if, if that's the worst time loss in, in this mission, I'm okay with it. Is this still my best Scorched? Doesn't feel like it. This is not gonna quite be my best scorched. Or it is. Like a bounce. Huh. Alright. I was definitely uh not getting a lot of these uh gold splits using uh Panther Warrior. Just, uh... Just, uh, too, just, uh, too much power in the multi-targeting attack. That is Kribo's multiply, and that's only because uh, of the multiply items. <laughs> just being able to stack three of them on top of each other is pretty neat. Bakura. So I should be able to uh, simply intercept you. Uh, 
All right. Now uh, the time savings here is going to depend uh, on whether a snake here here paralyzes. And even with Karibo's super buff single attack. That would not be enough to uh, take out the snake here from there. Yeah, I, I was really, really concerned with trying to uh, take her out. Because of her normal uh, attack paralyzing. Okay, as long as this hits. I still have to worry about Krivo's attacks missing, so it's not super overpowered as it could be, but uh, still pretty good. Oh my god. Wait, is this my best. Is this really my best betrayed ever? Huh. This really could have been something. And this run's not worth taking the chance of a lost cause. Like a boss. Yeah, this is still not... I'll, I could save a minute by... Uh, by uh, going it alone with Yugi's team, but... Uh, but, nah, I, I'm, I don't want to lose the run. This 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 wouldn't be a good enough run to uh, end on anyway. So I will be perfectly fine uh, having my take the hit. <laughs> Um, hey Big Fudge, how's it going? Uh, yeah, that's 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 a good observation. I'm using uh, this game's uh, Konami code to uh, to uh, get extra money so that way I can use uh, more uh, attack boosting equipment in the early game while still having access to my favorite Kribo for a uh, late game. Kribo really does make dividends with its multi-targeting attack. I, I just can't afford to not use it. World record route loses ten is always tended for me to lose too much time at the end. All right, let's see how this goes. So best best uh, course of action here would be for Dark Magician to. Uh, use uh, two Raigeki here. Th this, this is my job to take that hit. And then maybe possibly take another hit. I will soften up all of these foes for Yugi. I, I, I want I want the levels for Yugi's team. There we go.
There we go. That's a little slow, but... But, uh, I'll take it. Not taking any chances. <laughs> Not going to, uh... Be that aggressive with, uh... Not, not going to be that aggressively safe dealing with uh, Dark Magician and then uh, leave it leave it uh, open for uh, an extra attack. There we go. As long as this hits. So I'm actually going to lose a little more time compared to... Uh, my uh, previous run, to my uh, current best run. But it's fine. Okay, okay. I think I could actually, I could actually uh, chop that up to, uh, chalk that up to, uh, to uh, the to uh, Karibo's miss in that battle. Alright. Very straightforward, simple take the main base mission. This armored zombie's normal attack does paralyze, so... I could possibly have to have to uh, worry about something being being uh, paralyzed and slowing down this fight, just because uh, turn order is random and doesn't always make sense. nothing else to uh, do here he's the overworld uh, action slow down quite a bit towards uh, the end of the run but then the battles start ramping up a great deal so let's see how this goes <laughs> I had my finger on the pulse of the Z button, and then I, I uh, decided not to trust it. I don't fear armored zombies' paralysis that badly. Oh, you're waiting! Thank God. I actually take you out of the battle. I want to take out uh, Dragon Zombie too. God damn, that's a long attack animation. Not Kaiser Dragon long, but pretty long. Alright, Kribo, I need you to be based. Please be based. Oh. Not based. I think I was getting too many critical hits early on in uh, this run. This might be a damage range for you. Alright, never mind. You're guarding, I'll just pierce that. Move again. Okay, that's fine. Not the best it's ever been. 
But, uh, if, say, Karibo were, uh, paralyzed in, in, uh, the middle of all that, that could have been... a problem. Okay, okay. Alright. I'm, I'm really, uh, referencing my, uh, route notes on this one. So this one has some very, very specific, very precise instructions. First goal is to build that. As soon as possible, now I can send you there and the uh, barricade. So if I built that ground cannon quickly enough, and the lee the lee way on uh, the building of that that cannon is very small. But if I did it right, then uh, the second team that is uh, assaulting the home base uh, should get hit by the cannon just as they try to enter. Tenomigami and Dark Witch, this would be a damage range. Good. It's not a uh, guaranteed range. I've certainly been uh, besieged by uh, bad damage rolls uh, trying to, trying to uh, do this run. There we go. That looked like a really good damage range. Nice level ups from uh, everyone there. So, uh, if this is getting built quickly enough, then uh, this insect queen will uh, be trying to enter the base and then the cannon will hit her and uh, this this uh, battle will uh, get uh, shortened considerably also there's a guy of the fierce knight in the middle of this lake that uh, I have to navigate Yugi away from and are you getting hit? Yes! That is perfect. That is perfect. Having uh, Insect Queen hit the uh, base uh, as the cannon animation goes off, that, that saves like microseconds of time. Oh, wait, are you the stronger one? I don't know. This should be guaranteed either way. Yeah, alright. There we go. There we go. That's that's that that went about as well as I could reasonably expect 
those battles. Now all that's left is uh, Yugi versus Kaiba. Of course, he's got to have three level 40 blue eyes. And they all got to have polymerization, so uh, they will use their own polymerization if they are below 30% of their maximum health. So, uh, I usually uh, just let it come down to uh, whether uh, Harpy Lady keeps that one paralyzed. Hello, Lieutenant Silvio. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, here we go. No critical hits. These attacks still hurt. I'm I'm still uh, quite a bit under leveled for this part part of the game. So, uh, this might be a problem. Okay, and Satsu getting that one is pretty nice. I'm not even going to multiply. I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't need uh, to multiply. You're guarding. So I will just uh, focus the damage on you. You didn't paralyze, dude. <laughs> dude, you dude, you had one job. Just just paralyze. Just pa just paralyze these monsters. Okay, so this is not going to be my best face off, but uh This should still be good. I don't think this is a damage range at this point. <laughs> it's a crit. <laughs> oh, all right. All right, all right. All right, now we learned about Kaiba's being blackmailed because Mokuba got kidnapped. What else is new? Beautiful. <sighs> All right. This is like the last really uh, lemon booty squeezing mission before the final one. This could waste a lot of time. Scott has a Cosmo Queen who is immune to paralysis and heals a little bit every turn and has red medicines. I meant to build a ground cannon before that. Hmm. Actually, yeah, this labyrinth tank should still be slow enough to get hit by the cannon. I think. I'll find out the hard way if it's not. I almost, I almost completely forgot to build the cannon.
because uh, I'm still I'm still a little rusty from not playing this in five years. to deal with all of the uh, illusion spaces mages BS. Uh, he's got an item that can paralyze. And an item that does uh, a good deal of damage. <laughs> Dancing Elf just dead? Yeah. I don't know, with that, with that, uh... With that amount of health, uh, Dancing Elf might have been able to, uh, take out... Take out Faceless Ink before it used that final flame. That's fine. I've got plenty of time to build a healer. I'll uh, revive Dancing Elf to make this uh, next battle easy enough. Oh, that was not enough to uh, deal with the tank. I did not build the cannon quickly enough. Can I just run? No, I can't just run. Oh, and you're going to multi-target. Oh, great. Yeah, I'll just run. Let the cannon hit you. So I will be taking a small time loss here. But uh, yeah, I don't. I don't feel like. Uh, I really don't feel like uh, fighting uh, that entire battle. So, uh, the cannon will wipe out a bunch of it. You were down to 18 health. <laughs> That's a little disappointing. Okay, now all that's left to worry about is Scott and Cosmo Queen. <sighs> Freaking Cosmo Queen. Got that red medicine. So, I'm going to be looking at my instructions for this battle very carefully. Very, uh, very specific actions to uh, manipulate the enemy's health if uh, if uh, certain uh, monsters take their turns. This damage. Uh, 
Nope, you're gonna heal. Just because I got a critical hit, you're gonna heal. That's bad. So, uh, Cosmo Queen's natural healing should, uh... Should, uh, keep it out of its, uh, red medicine healing. Oh! Oh, it was like, it was like 20 health short. <sighs> Dude! I, I, I just gotta, I just gotta... Start knocking things out. <sighs> All right. All right, then. might actually take another battle. I'll reinforce this damage. You can attack Karibo all you want. Karibo has outlived his usefulness. Oh, that's such a low roll. Oh, crap. I gotta get a critical hit here. Oh, wait. Yeah, you did use all your red medicines. Okay. You only you only get uh, three red medicines. She only has one set. I think she did use them all. Jeez! <laughs> oh, I did say this battle gets dicey. Like that that's so tricky with uh, how strong okay, okay. your uh, monsters are. This one also gets tricky because uh, <laughs> he's that's how's it going? <laughs> Ah, <sighs> shut it. Now I want to play Dicey Dungeons. Alright, so, uh, and Satsu is Road Adept. So, uh, he actually moves fast enough to, uh, actually go take this base and then, uh, go on to, uh, the main base rather than make a make a direct straight line. It's pretty neat. Like those those uh those abilities don't tend to uh come out that handy in the field. And uh, this is one of those cases where uh Where it does come out faster for Ensatsu in in the field. Uh, 
Uh, the whole point was to try to take that base. So, again, these embodiments, they each have a red medicine. This battle is not threatening, but, uh... It is, uh, possible to get trolled. Uh, honestly, turn order makes no goddamn sense. Just go for it. Just go for it. All right, you're healing the circuit, yeah. Uh, this should be fine. Sardines! I'll just go for it again. And that missed the circuit. That's good to know. Now I can just wail on the circuit all I want. So this is going to take two rounds of attacks and it's not going to be fast. But it's fine. I'm actually not used to Insatsu inflicting that much damage. Not gonna lie. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, okay. Do I need to give a medicine? I usually have a medicine on Harpy Lady. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give Harpy Lady a medicine since, uh... And Satsu is, like, supremely overpowered as it is. This he and Karibo are, uh, Wrecking stuff. I think I think I'm not used to uh, having Harpy Lady equipped with uh, two Beast Fangs and uh, the Electro Whip. That might be part of my problem with the, the damage ranges. But yeah, I'm going to be in a gauntlet against uh, against uh, two uh, insignificant battles and one uh, kind of significant battle with uh, possible Gate Guardian fusion. So uh, my main concern is going to be keeping Karibo nice and equipped. Nice and healthy. Because Karibo is very much the definition of a glass cannon in this game. I really cannot afford to have it die. If, uh, if uh, these last two missions are going to be fast. That's all there is to uh, this now. It's 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 down to two. It's a base little fur ball, but uh, still mostly fur. Not very uh, fit, as it were.
Karibo, you are so based. <laughs> Just that one little critical hit enabled so much. Nice miss, game. Nice miss! <sighs> Crying out loud. Damn! <laughs> well, so much for needing uh, medicines for that battle. Karibo just tore it up. I think everyone's in as tip-top shape as uh, they could reasonably be put in. Alright. Now for Jinzo. Who's honestly not that much better. So your cannon's gonna hit Sparky Lady. Your cannon is going to hit Karibo. And I still got another battle after this, so uh, I'm very much uh, encouraged to uh, take the time to heal. Oh, well, that was a dam that was a damage range. Looked like that was closer than need. <laughs> Hits, dude. <laughs> oh, and Satsu's close to level 40. I think that I think that grants him an extra action. So I just gotta navigate to a little twisted turn here. And then I can deal. With the potential fusion of Gate Guardian. So this computer up ahead. Does have Suijin, Sangha, and Kazijin. They each have a polymerization, so uh, they will use it for themselves, on themselves, if uh, they have less than 30% of their remaining life points. Or they could use it on their on their last turn, which. For uh, this run should never be relevant. Make sure I clear the gaps, clear the corners. The last thing I need in uh, these fragile times is uh, is uh, having uh, my team caught on, on one of these corners. Yeah, these foes by themselves, not threatening. Polymerization, 
Once once they turn into Gate Guardian, they are quite the threat. <laughs> so I am just here to uh, prevent that polymerization from happening. You are so based. Spreading the damage around. I don't know how I feel about this. You're guarding. Should be noted that uh, special attacks like Karibos Multiply cannot uh, remove uh, someone's guard. Okay, I'm really playing with fire here. Because if both, because if uh, both of the paralyzed foes missed, I would have really been in for uh, a rough time. Nice crit. Is that gonna be enough? Got him. All right. <laughs> All right. Critical hits were good. 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 Good, good, good. Like a boss. All right, then. Let's face it, though. It's going to come down to this last mission. It's going to come down to whether... Whether, uh... the last enemy gets in the turn. Spoiler alert. Scott is not the last enemy. Why is Skull Knight healing? I'm not sure I understand that. Building a computer to summon an ancient spirit. Stop me if you've heard that one before. Oh my goodness, Karibo, you are so good! Critical hits are insane. <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, plan on Karibo wiping everyone out. There we go. Okay, that went about as smooth as that's ba that battle's ever gone. Hurry up. <laughs> what a waste. Obelisk the Tormentor, I summon thee. Oh boy. Can I possibly get in a heal of uh, Ansatsu before? No. That was going to be too tough. I didn't remember the exact inputs. Alright. So this battle's simple enough. Nice miss! The battle is simple enough. You take all of your turns, then Obelisk takes its turn. Yeah. 
and you can escape at any time. Which I might need to do here if uh, Harpy Lady gets hit. Um, All right, I'll, I'll uh, keep going. I will keep going, but uh, if Obelisk breaks free and does one Omni Hand Crusher, I am dead. Not much for me to do uh, besides uh, try and re-paralyze this. There goes world record. That's gonna make what happened at uh, counterattack it even more sad. Was it counterattack? No, it was a uh, phantom blast. That's going to make what happened at Phantom Blast even more sad. Oh, come on. Not now. Alright. That should be all I need. Progress! I said today was the day for progress. Progress has now been made, and of course you get a critical hit on the very last possible. We're crying out loud. <laughs> All right then. All right then. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. Good progress. Good progress. About time. I gotta say I wasn't sure if you were gonna pull it off. And yeah, that was that was my best dark spirit ever. Thanks in large part to Karibo's critical hit on the hits on the Serpent Knight battle. Karibo's so good. I don't know why you wouldn't use it. <sighs> so there we go. Very unfortunate what happened at Phantom Blast. Face off and banishment were also slow. I took it slow on a lost cause. Oh, I'll probably have to stop doing that. Uh. I think I did something wrong in Crucial Battle. But not sure exactly what it was. Everything else was amazing. So many things went right in this run. Even even through uh, a few uh, early game uh, critical hits. <laughs> some foes got some very very unfortunate critical hits and uh, knocked out some monsters but uh, yeah so much of this w otherwise was so good hmm yeah ho hopefully hopefully uh, soon I'll get to the bottom of what happened with Phantom Blast because that's the first time that's ever happened to me that's literally the first time the team led by Horn Imp has not been able to actually get out of that opening base Well, actually, I usually send Simon, who usually has Zombie Warrior. I think. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later. 